What's up beautiful people? Welcome back to another series of exciting videos. So guys, you might have heard or seen small scale robberies like shoplifting, money or bank robbery and more, because they're easy to execute. But have you ever seen some of the biggest things getting stolen? For sure, we all have seen this in films but not in real life. But today, we will tell you the biggest things to be ever stolen that are extremely large and worth millions of dollars. This might be beyond your expectations because you have never heard of these items. But their stories will shock you. Before we start our video, make sure to watch it till the end and never skip any part of this video, because we prepared the best things. Okay, let's jump to the number 10. Manhole covers. You might be surprised to hear that manhole covers could be stolen, but when they cost about $100, no thief would leave them. Yes, this incident happened in Los Angeles in 1990, where two thieves stole 300 maintenance hole lids, with each weighting 300 pounds, and that's worth about 90,000 pounds of metal. These robbers were clever, but not as much, because they left a hole open in the center of the city, where lots of accidents could could ever happened. These open holes grabbed every citizen's attention, and that's how the police started their investigation. But the concern and target of the robbers was to sell that metal like a piece of scrap iron, and they sold it for $75. Number 9. M60A310 Guys, we all have played games like Need for Speed or GTA in our childhood, but have you ever seen it in real life? Meet Mr. Sean Timothy Nelson, an American plumber and an ex-member of the US Armed Forces. He stole an M60A3 tank from the US National Guard Emmerich in California and then went on a rampage destroying everything in his way from numerous cars to recreational vehicles. After 23 minutes of the chase by Californian police, this game ended tragically, as the thief was caught because the tank could only go for a maximum of 30 miles per hour speed. Number 8. Aeroplane. Stealing a plane isn't an easy task, but how it could be easy for these two men? It is still a mystery. For FBI and CIA agencies, is this an incident? Or is it a mastermind plan to vanish a plane filled with 53,000 liters of fuel? So let's talk about Ben C. Padilla, an American pilot and flight engineer. And another was a hired mechanic, John M. Mutanto. In May 2003, they started the plane to move slowly along the ground, without informing or communicating with the control tower. The tower workers wanted to make contact, but there was no response, and the aircraft immediately took off in the southwest direction over the Atlantic Ocean before disappearing. From that day till today, no debris has been found on the ground or ocean. Number 7. Church. Old construction reminds us about the history of a city, but how thieves can understand this point? To steal a whole church is indigestible for you guys. But wait, this happened in Russia, where a 200-year-old church was robbed. The church was located near Kamarov's village. Nobody noticed it missing because that was not stolen suddenly, but it took a year because it was stolen brick by brick by villagers who sell them to a local business person who might use the material. When church priests wanted to continue the services there, they met with massive surprise, as only a few wall sections were left. Number 6. Oil tanker. Yes, stealing oil is listed on number 6. It almost happens in every country or state. Still, Ghana is listed above because it happened not once, but thrice in 18 months that Somalian pirates, robbers, stole a fully loaded from its oil field. And the worth of each barrel of oil is approximately $100. Seems like now it's no more a surprise for Ghana people as they have experienced this robbery thrice. Number 5. Massive Copper Bell Small bells are easy to carry by thieves, but to steal a 3,000 pound and 12 feet tall bell is daring or challenging. But they did it. So this happened in 2005 in Tacoma, Washington, in a Buddhist temple, which left their Buddhist monks shocked as their massive copper bell was missing. This hurt their sentiments for a while. Still, they adjust themselves as this bell was rarely used and only used on special occasions. Later on, the thief was caught up and sent to jail for this crime.
Number 4. Bridge. Yes, of course bridges are not the easiest things to steal. And when it comes to stealing a 200 ton metal bridge, you might be thinking that it would take some days or weeks or even months to complete vanish it. But no, you might be wrong. So have a look at this. This is Russia, and this bridge was located in Khabarovsk. The bridge was the only connecting part for employees to get to a road that accessed a local heating plant. The company said that it'll cost them $37,000 to replace the bridge as it was not in good condition, but they did not replace it. Instead, it got stolen just in a few hours. Number 3. Beach. You guys will find it a little funny, but literally, it took place in Coral Springs Beach in Trelawney, where 100 tons of white sand were stolen. You guys might think that this is a minor issue, but actually, it is a complex and severe crime because that stolen sand worth was approximately 500 truckloads, and it was being used in the construction of the resort there. It seems like these thieves love to throw surprises, as their robbery surprised every person in the police department. Number 2. Empire State Building. Stealing something in front of the owner is a bit tricky, but not challenging for the robbers. Stealing the whole Empire State Building wouldn't go unnoticed from the eyes of people for long. This was considered one of the most significant crimes in American history, because the worth of that building was $2 billion, and it took almost less than 90 minutes to steal that building. This wasn't hard for a person who was an expert in making fake stamps and bogus documents, so he did it and achieved it in front of their owners. Number 1. Peak of Mountain. As far as we see around the Earth, things don't get much bigger than mountains. Stealing a whole mountain is possibly the most prominent robbery ever. We think the thieves took the phrase go big or go home a little too serious. In eastern India, this mountain, Humta Pahat, is not robbed by professional robbers. However, locals from Humta village are slowly but surely stealing this mountain's peak. Locals stole away the rocks and sold them to the builders to feed their families. These villagers are stealing for their pure intentions, but well, in reality, that's an illegal action. Soon it is stated that police will take strict actions against these villagers. Okay, thank you for watching till this moment. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, give it a big thumbs up. Also, let us know what. Share your stories in the comment section, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so, and you won't miss our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.